The National Guard is part of the effort this morning to help families in a Michigan city facing a toxic water crisis. Lead levels in children in Flint doubled after the city switched its water source in 2014. Flint changed the source to save money. The state's governor is facing strong criticism for his response. Adriana Diaz is in Flint, where a state of emergency is in effect. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. The governor has requested help from FEMA to deal with the problem. Almost two years ago, the city tapped into the Flint River here for its water, but the water wasn't properly treated, corroding the pipes. This past October, the city switched back to its original water supply in Detroit, but the damage was already done. Genesee County Emergency Management, where are the filters? Volunteers and state troopers endured below freezing temperatures, going door to door Tuesday, water handing out bottled water and filters. But families still can't use the water from their faucets. You can't drink it. You can't bathe in it. It's, it's ridiculous. Michigan's Governor Rick Snyder is under fire for his handling of the nearly two year water problem. Earlier this week, an editorial in the Detroit Free Press called his response shameful. The paper compared it to Hurricane Katrina, where, quote, the same lack of urgency delayed life-saving aid. I've apologized. On Monday, Snyder said it wasn't until October 1st that his team learned there was confirmed lead in the water. But emails first obtained by Virginia Tech researchers show that state officials may have known there was a problem months earlier. In a July 22nd email, the governor's office asked the state health department to look into the water issue, concerned that Flint residents are basically getting blown off by us. In response, they were told lead increases were normal based on seasonality, but an internal memo indicated above average levels even when seasonality was controlled. Almost done, sweetheart. More school children were tested for lead poisoning Tuesday. Severe cases in those under six can cause long-term behavioral problems. Following the water switch, Elena Richardson's children developed skin rashes and mouth sores. It's been very difficult. My kids have been getting sick. You think it's because of the water? It, it is because of the water. She lives off of food stamps and gets free bottled water when she can, but often uses tap water to cook. She says the governor's response is not enough. It's just a high crime right here in poor African Americans. You know, Snyder don't care. He don't stay here. You know, he, he don't have family here. The Justice Department has launched an investigation to figure out exactly how this man-made public health crisis happened. In response to a request for a comment, Governor Snyder's office told us that although the governor has issued an apology, he knows the situation warrants more than that. Gail? Mm, that's just maddening. It's, it's it unacceptable. It's yeah. unacceptable in the United States of America because, America because lead poisoning in children, too, mm -hmm. is so incredibly dangerous. It causes neurological effects for the rest of your life. Yeah. I hope somebody's listening. Mm -hmm. Somebody's listening. Adriana, we thank you.